एडवांस्ड इमेज डी प्रोसेसिंग पार्ट वन वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ मुक्स ऑन कंप्यूटर विजन टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न एडवांस्ड इमेज डी प्रोसेसिंग विल लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट इमेज डी प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक्स लाइक पॉइंट ऑपरेटर हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन कंपोजिटिंग एंड मैटिंग दिस टेक्निक्स वुड बी वेरी यूजफुल इन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर विजन अलगोरिदम वेर यू रिक्वायर ग्रेटर एक्यूरेसी ग्रेटर डिटेक्शन रेट एट्सेट्रा let us discuss the point operator the point operator is a image transform tool which would be very useful whenever you want to convert the intensities or colors of an input image and you want to transform these values into the new set of values so as you can see in this slide x axis has some range of 0 to 255 let us assume that we are working on gray scale intensities so on x axis we have the input gray values on the y axis we have the output gray values starting from 0 to 255 the marking shown in the red color over here is some arbitrary point operator so what does it mean that for example we divide this red marking into three slots this is slot number 1 let us say the range is from 0 to 50 slot number 2 say from 50 to 200 and slot number 3 is from 200 to 255 that's slot number 2 and that's slot number 1 so this graph illustrates that the input gray values of a given image which are falling in the range of 0 to 250 that transform linearly into the same set of values that is 0 to 50 so there is no change as far as the gray values from 0 to 50 are concerned so in both input and output image the values of 0 to 250 are will remain same now consider the second region here the input gray values of a given image from 50 to 200 these values would be written in the output image as constant 50 so irrespective that input image gives the value 50 100 150 or 200 in the output image all these values are masked to a single value called 50 in third image where the range is from 200 to 255 there is exponential rise of values that is being observed so the resultant image would be changed image where the input gray intensities will not be same as the output gray intensities and as per your convenience you can transform input intensities into the new intensities as per your convenience as per the demand of application or any computer vision project so point operator is a very powerful tool because every pixels intensity is taken into account and that intensity is transformed into new pixel value in many applications point operators are used so in point operator output pixel value it depends on only the input pixel value example of point operator is brightness and contrast adjustment let us consider one equation g of x is equal to h into f of x here f of x is the original image g of x is the output image and h is a point operator which operates on input image f of x and creates a new image called g of x in a digital transform in digital domain we have the discrete set of intensity values say f0 of x f1 of x and so on and h is a operator and it generates the new value g of x so for discrete sample images we can write g of ij is equal to h into f of ij the two commonly used point processes they are multiplication and addition with a constant so one equation which is very popular which is used to increase the contrast as well as increase the brightness of a given image you can implement it in any software language and you can see your image will be 
changing its contrast value and the brightness value as you change some parameters. So the equation is g of x is equal to a into f of x plus b where the value a is greater than 0 and this a is your contrast which is also called as gain and b value is a brightness or it's also called as a bias. So if we want to increase the contrast of your input image you can change the value of a and if you want to increase the contrast or decrease the contrast of sorry the brightness then you can increase or decrease the value of b so a corresponds to the contrast and b corresponds to the brightness by changing a and b the contrast and the brightness of a given input image can be changed as per the convenience another application of point operator is linear blend operator it is commonly used to input operator called dynamic input operator and the equation of this linear blend operator is g of x is equal to 1 minus alpha into f0 of x plus alpha into f1 of x here it is a two input so we have input image 1 as f0 and input image 2 as f1 of x initially assume that alpha is equal to 0 so g of x would be f0 of x because alpha is 0 and you get g of x as f0 of x and f1 of x is cancelled and when alpha is equal to 1 your g of x would be f1 of x because 1 minus 1 0 f0 is cancelled and you get f1 of x and when you change alpha from 0 to 1 your image will be transformed from f0 of x to f1 of x so this application this concept is basically used in powerpoint presentation whenever you are changing this one slide into a second slide with the help of some special effect you are transiting from first slide to second slide very smoothly so it is nothing but a linear blending operation where image f0 is transformed into f1 of x slowly or as per the rate decided by a designer one more application of this point operator is a gamma correction it is highly used non-linear transform and this gamma correction is used to remove the non-linear mapping between input radiance and quantized pixel values the equation of gamma correction is g of x which is output image is equal to f of x which is original image raised to 1 by gamma you can see the gamma correction application this is the original image where gamma is 1 when you set the gamma value to half you get some object lying at the down and some water levels you can see in this region which are very clear when you increase the gamma value to 2 then all these details are vanished and you get only few objects so depending upon the value of gamma either some details can be hidden or some details can be extracted in the output image another image preprocessing technique that is used widely is compositing and matting many times there is a need to cut a foreground object from one scene and put it on the another scene with a different background so these techniques are especially called in computer vision as matting and compositing so matting is a technique of extracting the object from the original image we extract the object of our interest from the original image and then later we insert that object into another image so this inserting operation is called as compositing so as you can see in the following image this is a original image number one in second image only object of interest is taken into account in third image it is called as alpha matter image it is a mask created and in the fourth image the object is extracted and it is placed on a different background so if you compare image 1 and image 4 they are of the same object but the backgrounds are different so this technique is called as compositing and matting as you can see in this slide there is one more picture of matting technique in the upper image you will find the four 
personalities they are standing and they are doing one task so in a studio basically these four persons they will act and later the scene in the background which you can see over here it would be pasted over there similarly in the downside image you will find in image a the dog is uh, sitting in image b this particular object is extracted and finally in image c different background is used so compositing and matting finds very good application in many situations here also in image number 1 you will find the trees this particular part is extracted from image number 1 and it is pasted in image number 3 on a different background so in many applications especially in the films the compositing and matting techniques are used to add some special effects to the particular scene the next very significant image preprocessing operation is histogram equalization many a times there is a need to improve the image quality automatically because at this always there is very difficulty faced by the designer to change and uh, design a new rule to increase the contrast level of the input image so automatic improvement of the image is many a times desirable histogram equalization is a technique where a contrast enhancement of the input image is carried out generally find an intensity mapping function f of i such that the resulting histogram is flat so in the original image the histogram which is a graph of multiple gray values with respect to its number in original image this graph would be concentrated on a specific region but when histogram equalization is applied in the output histogram the number of levels are occupied more number of levels are present and hence the histogram is flat so it is ensured that every intensity level is taken into account and human eye gives good response and it perceives a good contrast of a given image so as you can see over here in this image the left hand side image is the original image and right hand side image is the image with contrast enhancement using histogram equalization you can find that a picture on the computer screen is more clear as compared to the original image also you will find that this background portion is more clear as compared to the original image so in histogram equalization we follow c of i is equal to 1 upon n n are the number of levels is equal to summation i from 0 to capital i h of i there is one more variation of histogram equalization in normal histogram equalization entire image is taken into account while in adaptive histogram equalization the image is subdivided into m by m pixel blocks as you can see over here the image is divided into multiple blocks and we perform separate histogram equalization in each sub block so instead of computing a single curve the image is subdivided into m by m blocks and in every block the histogram equalization is being performed so if adaptive histogram equalization is considered it provides best image quality best contrast enhancement as compared to normal histogram equalization this is because every region is taken into account and based on the neighborhood pixels in a specific block a new value is assigned so this is more finer results are obtained as compared to original histogram in many applications the linear filtering technique is used as an image preprocessing technique where local adaptive histogram equalization is a neighborhood operator that is taken into account so there are many operators that are used to filter an image and they are considered as linear filtering the number one is soft blur or you can sharpen the details you can accentuate edges and you can remove the noise so depending upon the situation of the input image any of either of the operation is selected so here in the following image you will find the image number 1 is the original image image number 2 is the image where blurring operation is taken into account input image and output image they are differentiated and many details are 
artificially vanished in the output image in image number 3 the sharpening effect is taken into account and if you compare it with image number 1 the output image is more sharpened the colors are more prominent as compared to input image so in linear filtering we involve weighted combination of pixels in a small neighborhood in the linear filtering the output pixels value is determined as a weighted sum of input pixel value so we follow the equation g of ij which is output image is equal to summation over k and l f of i plus k j plus l and h of k comma l where f of f is the original image and h is called as kernel or mask they are also called many times as filter coefficients this equation symbolically is noted as g is equal to f convolution h g is the output image f is the original image and h is the mask or kernel or filter coefficients a common variant of this formula is also used to simplify the calculations as g of ij is equal to summation over kl f of kl and h of i minus k j minus l so in linear filtering the filter coefficients are designed as per the convenience we call it as h of x and y these coefficients they are applied on the original image input f of x y and after process of convolution f of x y is transformed into new set of value called g of x y generally in linear filtering convolution operation is used which requires k square operations per pixels where k is the size of convolution kernel so as k is increased the computational cost would be k square which would be quite expensive and that would limit the performance so to increase the speed of the operations one technique is used that the we perform one dimensional horizontal convolution and after that we perform one dimensional vertical convolution the effect of this process is the number of operations are now per pixels are 2k as against k squares earlier so such convolutions where one dimensional horizontal convolution is performed and then one dimensional vertical convolution is performed they are called as separable and the kernel is separable and such filter is called as separable filter this separable filter finds extensive use where number of computations are uh, to be limited and the speed has to be improved in that case instead of normal linear filtering we use separable filtering so friends in this session you have learned advanced image preprocessing operations as i said image preprocessing is a vital role in today's session we have learned point operator it is a very powerful tool so that every pixel of the input image is transformed into the new value we also have seen storm equalization as a powerful image preprocessing technique where automatic changes in the input image that has happened which is a many a times there is a great need that input image contrast enhancement has to be done automatically instead of manual manual so thank you for this session thank you